Now available on your home screen, a blast from Christmas past comes back to thwart the North Pole's family business as Tim Allen returns for season two of the holiday comedy series, The Santa Clauses. I love what I do. Here we go, come on. Cal, did you enjoy that? He passed out. Huh? Oh. The idea that Santa is a mantle that can be passed and not just a singular person is the central idea of the franchise established by the movies. It's what he'd love to be is keep it in the family. That's the, the idea is that maybe, maybe my son or my daughter, that it would pass it on to my son if that's what's something he'd want to do. Checking it twice. Which is why I'm so geeked to turn Santa into a family business. There's not a full agreement that, that uh, Cal will be the perfect idea. I really believe that my son, Cal, is what it takes to be the next Santa. Ah! What are you doing in my house? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Massive fan of, of Tim in general, just as a comedic actor, massive fan of, of Scott Calvin and the Santa Claus franchise. Uh, the original Santa Claus, uh, I, I go way back, not, not just with the series, but with the actual movie franchise. Believe it or not, animals complain more than humans. Wow. Oh. Everything talks now. I can hear voices all the time. <laughs> even so, the ticks. Even, even the ticks. We gotta make North Pole history part of Cal's training. That central idea is so rich because it suggests a whole history of Santas that have reigned over the North Pole. Who's Magnus Antis? The Mad Santa. Is that something for us to worry about? Betty mentions in the first season the darkest time in North Pole history, and that was the reign of the Mad Santa. They wanted to call it I, the Mad Santa, and it's just a mispronunciation, which I think is funny, is of Magnus Antis. He just went off the rails a little bit because he didn't like how people were responding to being given things. The looming threat of, of the rightful Santa coming back to take his rightful place on the throne definitely feels like an, an omnipresence that the show asked me to, to bring and, and to um, kind of motivate the, this series of 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 not knowing what's gonna what's gonna happen at the end, and we certainly still don't know what's gonna happen by the end of the season. Santa? I am Santa, the rightful Santa. He manages to find a way to resurface. He's he's conjured because of an accident, and and my character uh, is the first to discover him. Is is the rest of the world like this now? Well, if it was, I wouldn't have to build this place, now would I? And that's why you should always follow your dreams, no matter what your dad says. Chris Kringle Moreno, that would be me. Uh, but a little bit cuter, because I'm wearing a bunch of red and green, and I, I'm very festive. And I'm the owner of a Santa Claus store slash museum. How about some sleight of hand? <sighs> At least it's not improv. I have a, a, a kinship with comedians anyway. That we're a very small group, so it was, it was fabulous. On top of that, he drilled his character. He's so he's funny. He's so funny he's in this, so and he's so good in this. Yeah. Really was brilliant. So the, on top of everything else, once again, another comic comes in and drills the part. Tim Allen's an actual comedian, so it's like to hang out with another comic and be on a set, it was, it was great. It's a nice belly, but that's not a Santa belly. This is a Santa belly. Made in Hollywood. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. We want to know what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the MIH TV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there. <laughs>